Carrier Command 2 is a game with a very small following. Released in August of 2021, the game received some attention on YouTube from the Grim Reapers. These videos caught my attention and convinced me and many others to buy the game. When I started up my first single player world, I was shocked to discover just how unforgiving the game could be. Intended for a crew of multiple players, playing alone is certainly doable, yet challenging. It's easy to soft lock the game by running out of supplies or having an unlucky encounter with artillery shells from a hostile ship. Fighting back can be done a number of ways, but the safest ways can often be tedious and frustrating. This is where most new players drop the game. Only 79.8% of players are able to capture their first island, with only 15.1% eventually defeating an enemy aircraft carrier, which is considered the final boss of the campaign. I stuck with it, mainly because of how satisfying it felt to finally capture an island after going through so much pain, but also for the great music and excellent voice acting. Welcome back, Commander Altus Gage. Your disorientation shall pass. It became one of those games I would play while listening to audiobooks or podcasts in the background. Once I finally beat the enemy carrier on my first campaign, I felt confident enough to join the multiplayer community without embarrassing myself, and met some pretty cool people who taught me much better ways to play. I set up some random waypoints for those barges to our north just so they're moving around. I just ran into one issue. The lobbies were usually empty. Oftentimes I found myself playing as if it were single player mode, waiting hours for another player to join the game. When someone eventually joined, they typically had no experience in multiplayer and just wanted a crew to play with. How do you zoom in? Press Z. I'll press Z, okay. Man, really bad over there. Okay, there's two guys almost dead. I, I'm just bad of trajectory, my bad. Around this time, I also started hunting achievements for fun. After about 230 hours, I finally got the rarest achievement held by 0.3% of all players by sinking a total of 300 ships across all games. Now I finally felt ready to lead a crew into battle against the toughest players the community had to offer, specifically Grim Reaper's naval ops. They're not firing AA, so I'm assuming that launch is damaged. He's bugging out. Found a bit of up close and personal attention with 20 mil cannons. Enemy, the team two contact air asset southwest of Tokamak. Best of all, it was that most rare and special thing in PvP gaming: a close fight with a worthy opponent. I registered for a PvP tournament hosted by Tricky's Discord server, messaged my teammates with a plan, and even practiced before the match. We were ready to fight. Oh, what? Well, what are Okay, this is we are. We're Star Wars. Let's fucking go! Look at that! And a heavy munitions! The fight started out okay. Having spawned in at the closest starting island to the Grim Reapers, we exchanged fire with their aircraft, even shooting a few down. Nice. Right. Killed. Oh God. We have missiles incoming. Splash. But in the end, we were beaten when they shot their missiles past our close in weapon system. Oh. What? Oh. At the time, I had no idea how this was possible. Normally, the Sea Wiz turrets at the edges of the ship are able to shoot down missiles midair. After the fight, I asked our opponents how they could do this. Yeah, it, you come, we, you launch close. And yeah, yeah, Sea Wiz just launch close. Doesn't you wait until time. the sea wizard starts to shoot at the planes, and then you find the missiles, and then he doesn't shoot the missiles. Ah. And then it's just a game of who can get their mantos with IRs to yeah. kill the enemy carrier first. Oh, yeah, chicken. I had over 200 hours in the game, and earned every achievement, but it meant nothing when put up against Grim Reaper's experience. As a captain, I have failed my team.
I didn't know it at the time, but Grim Reaper's Naval Ops was on an uncontested seven game winning streak. A couple members of their team were modders for Carrier Command 2, a game which is known for being difficult to mod. If I was going to be players who weren't just competitive, but also experts in the game, I needed to do some research. I watched every video posted by Grim Reaper's Naval Ops to learn how they operate. I tested crazy ideas against unsuspecting players in public multiplayer games. Found. You know, I was noticing how, like, everyone's just like, oh, we gotta worry about the fuel this or that. I'm like, I know a guy, and we can totally make that distance, all right? I've seen wonders done, all right? I've witnessed some stuff. I wrote an incredibly detailed operations plan to put my strategy into writing so it could be shared with teammates. Then, I fought Grim Reaper's Naval Ops again. No, no, okay, you got this. And again. Zero for the carrier. Copy that. McFarland, three, two, zero for the carrier. Every time, I was beaten. Okay. Oh, we're missing all incoming. Missing all incoming. But with every oh, defeat, gosh. I came closer and closer to winning. All right, somebody jump in the gimbal camera. I'm in range now. And jump in the gimbal missing. camera. Oh, God. Ooh, that's critical. No. Ooh, ah. Oh. I still felt like something was missing. Something to push me to victory. A team. With every PvP match, I met more players who were tired of constantly losing to the Grim Reapers. We banded together and organized a team. Crimson Knight. Turning. They might be in a holding pattern. Mobius. Dance. Time to dance with the angels. Nonarte. He's getting toward the ship. I mean, yep. I think it's an eelfish. Ludendas. I think we should do the Alpha Strike first, and then That's take Memnonic. Sage. Uh. We are today. We go to war. Today, we fight for all the little guys, all the Davids of the world. Lawrence Lucas. Idea for the left side. Just step into the carrier right there. Trench truck. I see it. Dodge one. Dodge two. Oh, Woo! Yes. Come on, let's go. Uh, Mailer. Yeah. You mean um, the Zeus has to um, shoot on your plan and yeah. point Clarius. And many others. Yeah, so we're day, so we're day, so we're They're pointing at us, they're pointing at us. Manta, coming in, supersonic. We grew to the point where some matches became strictly Grim Reapers versus Delta Fleet. The knockout punch finally came in November 2023. With Point Clarius as captain and Ludendis, Lawrence, and Mailer as crew, the Grim Reapers winning streak had ended after 13 matches spanning 11 months. Right, load, load everything with IR missiles. Any, get the Mantis up, IR missiles now. Go. That's it. Enemy carrier, it's got us. Enemy carrier, 266. Take her in, take her in. It's very low. Target has taken off, watch out. Okay. Hey, missile. Missile launched. Go evasive. Nice one. Yeah, it's also super Oh, who's that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Something I just see. crashed. I Found him. Oh, oh, if, if they hit, you have a good chance. Hit. Hey, you have a good chance to sink. Is the sea was oh. alive? Oh. Yes, kill it. Oh. Okay. So okay. close. So. Missile, incoming, incoming. Okay, I, I can, I can still see it. Oh, that's really exciting. That's so it. close! <laughs> Thing we do it. No, negative. Oh, negative. Yep, Eyes that's on. the carrier! That's the carrier! Good luck! Good luck, I got it. It's still solo. Oh, I can't. Missile, missile, missile! Thank you! Yes. Fuck yeah! Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah! 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 yeah. 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 yeah.
Let's go. Nice, that's okay. nice, GG. It's over. Uh, Although I wasn't in the match where we had won, I felt proud that I had started something that brought an end to their streak. This moment for me was worth the now 300 hours I had sank into the game. Because this game isn't about blowing up tanks and helicopters with an aircraft carrier. It's about teamwork and friendship. We may have toppled the hardest team in the game, but our work is not done. At Delta Fleet, we have a mission statement that extends beyond our own team. As part of our training mission, we are releasing our official strategy documents on the game's community hub and accepting new players to our Discord server. I don't care if Grim Reaper sees our plans or knows our secrets, because now everyone will have the power to defeat them in PvP. By releasing this to everyone, we go from being a team to an idea. And you can't kill an idea. Thank you to Grim Reaper's Naval Ops for letting us use their clips in our video. Their channel is linked below, and they have many extremely helpful tutorials for new players in the community. If you liked the format of this video, it's because it was inspired by some other great YouTubers like Internet Historian, Popo Medic, and Happy. You can check out their channels in the description below as well. If you're thinking about buying this game, look out for the Steam Christmas sale starting on December 21st. 